Hey everybody, my name is Koen Wilts from the Fellowship of Acoustics and it's that time of the week again that we are going to present you five beautiful new arrivals and this week it was an absolute joy to pick five beauties again uh, because we got it in so many different guitars in so many different corners so we have a guitar for every guitarist today. So after a little absence uh, for Music Man in our store, we finally got our first batch back in again. So a little while ago they uh, changed their strategy um, and have limited their number of dealers and we were very lucky to be included in their dealer list so uh, from of now on we're receiving small batches because Music Man uh, is not building as many guitars as they used to do um, anymore and are really focusing on that boutique level and high-end guitar making and this is the first one that arrived this is beautiful Stingray in brulee finish it's a really interesting burst um, that's dark from the outset and that gets this yeah brulee kind of crust in the middle. It's a metallic uh, finish which makes it really cool and I think if you rock this one on stage it will be absolutely badass. And that they want to chase this uh, boutique level of instrument making that you can really see back in this guitar. Uh, of course the beautiful tone woods, I mean look at the flame maple neck on this one and all the details are just perfect. You won't find anything wrong on this guitar. <laughs> guitar uh, is a very special one because it's a brand that you don't see too often in new arrivals and it has one big reason uh, is we cannot keep stock every time we get them in they, they get shipped out uh, really fast and this time we had an essential D from Atkin that's available for stock so we wanted to show you this one so this beautiful essential D is a very nice light relic guitar uh, with mahogany back and sides, mahogany neck, really classic style and classic sounding uh, D18 and a torrified Sitka spruce top and when it comes to torrification, yeah he is Michelin graded, he's a Michelin graded chef because he gets this tone, this vintage feel in a new guitar uh, that not a lot of people can get in it. And he does it all in his own stubborn way, so he doesn't buy the wood aged and torrified, but he does everything in-house and it's a, it's a really special way of treating it and he just absolutely nailed it. So if you're looking for a guitar that has this vintage feel but the reliability from a new one, then check out that kit. <laughs> one up is a blast from the past it's a beautiful Les Paul Jr. from 1961 in cherry finish and this one just aged super nicely um, so you always see the a bit of difference in red on the back and on the top and it's also one of the reasons how you can see the lack original original these guitars were made to be affordable but super high quality they just have one p90 pickup and what people found out over time is that this one pickup is super versatile. You can play so many different styles and it's a super nice little and light guitar that has so much practical use and rock and roll feeling that uh, people really start to love them in the last few years. And uh, you also see that with these vintage prices from these guitars, I think this is one of the uh, best investments you can do in vintage guitars at this point in time. <laughs> show I'm a big fan of ES 175s and we got one from 78 and it's still in super nice condition and I keep making the statement that Gibson should start making these again because at this point in time they don't make the ES 175 um, and that while well, it's such a super popular guitar and such an iconic guitar the single cutaway um, double humbuckers usually in sunburst finish it's just such an iconic guitar and you can use it from rock and roll to jazz and it makes it super versatile as well so gibson please start making es 175s again <laughs> The 
next guitar is from Goodall and uh, Goodall's slogan is actually acoustic excellence and they really make that true with their guitars. So this example for instance is a traditional one and has a German spruce top but the tops that they pick is just absolutely amazing and that combined with Honduran mahogany back and sides and what it does is that makes this guitar not just a good finger picking guitar because the mahogany is really warm and really mellow and the German spruce gives some really nice top ends uh, but it's also a good strumming guitar because of this same tone wood combination so it's a super nice versatile guitar uh, built with the highest detail and the highest quality you can imagine So that was it for this week, I really hope you enjoyed the guitars, I really hope you enjoyed the video as always, let us know which one is your favorite and what we are missing in the store. Uh, if you want to have some more details on the guitars, go check out the website or go check out the demos Milo made for us uh, and we hope to see you on the next episode. Bye bye, cheers! Mm -hmm.